This is Rockstar 2800 with Smut Free TV, the hottest content in these internet streets. Make sure you tune in, like, comment, subscribe, get your mind right. All right, man, welcome back to Smut Free TV. It's your host, Rockstar 2800, the most hated, the most underrated, the most opinionated. You know the rest. Make sure you like comment subscribe right now to this channel like comment subscribe become a member also follow smut free tv on instagram hop in them comments why because every comment counts and you know we got the hottest content in these internet streets now i'm gonna keep y'all up to date i hope y'all love the com content make sure y'all comment like subscribe let me know what you think during the video even after the video even before the video while the video is premiering we about to get into this. The hottest content on these internet streets. No cap. Stay tuned. Hey, hey, folks. Oh, there Yo, KK. Yeah, that's what I've been looking for you all day. Hey, we've been looking for you all day, nigga. So, so I heard the replays. <laughs> and it's only one thing I got to agree with. It's not bring you to... Uh, <laughs> for sure, we not dry you over there to... You break it up. You break it up. I said Munchie was right when he said KK ain't KK he ain't gonna he ain't gonna bring you over here to me. He gonna think about that one. Yeah, nah. I know he's how telling, to get over that song. He was telling the truth on that one. That, but aside from that, I ain't gonna lie. I f with the conversation y'all was having, folks. But what I don't f with, and it's just my opinion. I don't like how y'all niggas was dragging that that little kid in the situation, bro. Yeah, and I ain't like the way that uh, they had no compassion for a kid. I don't give. But that's what I'm saying though. Like, I, I feel where they both they parties coming is. from. But at the same token, bro, like you OG. How many times you done went to a house when you was our age and fucked on a no, she wasn't her kids. You still went over there. and fucked. I mean, kinda, yeah. But then you, <laughs> you know, it's the same. Like it's the same <laughs> no, it's not. Same kind no, it's not. But bro, you, you know, you will leave that alone too, thing. though. Like this, thing, like this, it's horrible. Y'all was getting that munchie, like, cause, yeah, but like, you ain't for the help, that. <laughs> like, bro. Like, but I listen. ain't about, to, I ain't about to be bothered with no bitch that daughter's a prostitute and everybody know about it and talk about it. Ain't no way in hell you gonna catch me with. I got too much integrity. Nah, I'm too much nah, of a gangster I definitely, for that. I definitely feel you on that part too. But I'm just saying, it was definitely a conversation to have. But I'm just saying, like a lot. It was, of a, it was a good conversation. It was. I, it was I, I'm conversation. just saying. It, it was it was getting dragged on though, like like bro was saying the kids, like and that ain't what it was, like. Oh, no, he, he said, actually right. said the kid. He said it. He said well, that he after a while, after a while, but he was like, yeah, that that don't got like because if if I'm in that situation, bro, and I've been in that situation, like whether the kid was prostituting or it was just a badass little kid, like I didn't have kids back then, so I like when I used to go, oh, they had kids. And Bro, I ain't really too much questioning nothing like that. But he was he wasn't did, see me? you going off kilter because he wasn't she took to the podcast trying to help the, up her clout. Why would yeah, you yeah. try to help her? You think I'm gonna take listen, a, you think bro. I'm gonna take a go put her on bro, or try to help bro. her get on podcast and she got a bro. daughter that's a prostitute that's 14? Bro. Nah. That's my man's, bro. That's cool. Cole was, listen, Cole was on that list too. See, and I think that's what I, I wanted to get to that. But we ain't get yeah. to that. Like, you I mean, kicking this up. Like, what are you doing? Like, with but, the, but that's what I'm saying. Like, you got to think, right? At the time, you feel me? Man, Cut talk to him every day. At the time when he got up on the bro, that whole thing about her about her daughter being a prostitute, that was nowhere in the, in the air at all, not even a little bit. You feel what I'm saying? Now, I ain't saying that, like, you know, when it came about or whatever the case may be, that it ain't supposed to, whatever, however you're doing your, what you do. But that wasn't brought up right when Cut met the, so why he couldn't articulate himself? Why he kept he, he, was, only, bro, I, I, I was, most, he was most, saying, hey, listen, most don't know how to articulate this." What are you talking about? He a podcaster, though. Uh, uh, but I'm saying though, just start doing this, bro. <laughs> but Good my then. thing is, like, you feel me? He was something in this room. Get him, bro. Sometimes niggas be doing, and soon we see it come in the room, we get right on it. Don't even let it. So you feel me? It be all type of narratives and certain thrown out there to the point where whoever we own, he he they never get, got he never got a chance yeah. to even say what's really going on because we didn't we didn't got on cut so much he didn't even get to get none of that out. 
So after a while, I was like, if I can't get my, I'm my in the circus. Nah, bitch, but he he was getting this shit out though, and then that's what really when I went when he when he said what I wanted to hear though. He when he said the, yeah, when he said family shit out and on bloods this and he was getting that out. He wasn't really getting what y'all nah, wanted. No, he got he got out there. Fuck them kids and the community don't care about them kids and the little hoe and all that. And I don't play about no little girls and all this and that. You know I don't do that. Listen, bro, nigga know that bitch daddy. I mean to call a little girl bitch, but. A nigga know her daddy, bro. Her daddy ain't shit. Cuz a snitch. Right. Ain't shit ass nigga. Now listen, we more, we, well, I ain't gonna say we, but for the conversation y'all was having, y'all more mad at that man than the actual pops. You know, the actual pops is a is a big time flocker out here. Big time this, big time. Yeah, they that. said they, they they said they said that he is snitching this and that. So he's kinda out the picture. It's like Bro, it's kind of they and, made it like he's not even in the picture at all. You know what I'm saying? He is in the picture though. You feel me? I ain't gonna even hold you, bro. The, her daddy he was around. One my, bro, his oh, her daddy was one of my good homies, bro, in middle school. You feel right. me? Before Cub turned to brand. Like Cub Cub from the other side right now, but you feel me? I know Cubs like Nigga, I no cuz, no cuz, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Cuz name Raheem, like. Cuz got money, having it his way, all type of shit, bro. He don't give a fuck about nigga getting up on that little girl trying to get her straight. Nigga, he got enough money right now, nigga, to go take her away from that shit, nigga, and have her living with her, with him. Damn, but because he so we, so so she got fucked up parents with the. Black, we supposed to turn our back on the child. I ain't like that. I'm a GD. Bro, we got, we, we, but, but we got the you. OS organization, the structure, KK. But y'all keep that's what it's on, about. It's about it's really like, about the kids. With it. Like y'all keep saying we turning our back on something like a nigga. Like listen, if if I if I take that bitch on as my girlfriend or I'm dealing with her, right? You dig what I'm saying? Then pool. Like I'm 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 on it. You feel me? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where are your kids at? Where are your because now it's like if I'm really dealing with you on that type of level and you telling me. Oh, well, this kid is here. This kid is in foster. Now, on Crip, I don't want to deal with you. Right. You know what I'm saying? But if I'm dealing with a bitch and that's going on with her kid and, and the nigga gone, because my whole thing is, bro, I don't want to be helping, bro, and, that, and, and, and the actual dad is alive and living and could be doing this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. So it's like, nigga, if I'm really going to take, take, it, take it upon myself to deal with this bitch or date this bitch and she got a child that's X, Y, and Z, at some point, nigga, we, we got we, we to gotta go get her. We gotta so figure this shit out. out. So At least try. Because you now you in the inside knowing all that. The conversation wasn't nowhere around that. For me, look at the conversation. It's like, oh, I, I picked the mom up to take her over to the podcast and do this and that. And then you know the door. So that it wasn't all that wasn't included. Even about the deal. Like, yeah, the deal is so he why out I'm the way. Saying, sometimes like it's the deal is out the way. Course, you gotta y'all gotta shut the room down and let a nigga that know how to talk talk. And that way you'll get all the answers that you niggas be wanting. But when you got 15 niggas. Or third or or eight niggas trying to chime in on what two other niggas is talking about is gonna give off a different feel, bro. Cause you could tell Munchie wanted to have that conversation with you, but it's so many other niggas coming off the mic saying a bunch of wild shit. And I ain't telling niggas that niggas can't come off right. that mic and say shit. But I'm just saying sometimes when there's two individuals having that type of conversation, sometimes niggas just gotta just I think shut it up got touch, it got it got touchy though, KK, because we were talking about the kid. And some it people did. adults get touchy when you talk about kids. I know I do because I got kids. I got a daughter. So what so and it don't and it don't gotta be my daughter for me to feel compassion for a kid. And that's nah, what we was talking hell about. Nah. Hey, bro, any one of my homies do bullshit with their childs, bro. Oh, I can't kid, fuck we, with you. Yeah. Nah, we 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 what's up, cuz what you on? If that's what you on, I can't fuck with you. Right. But I'm saying like I just think I felt like niggas because because bro was having a bitch come on the pod or whatever. And then on, on another note too, like that wasn't bitch not doing that. That was that bitch. You feel what I'm saying? Nigga, she seen what was going on. She went from one nigga that had clout. She seen the other homie that she already knew before he started doing what he was doing. I already knew the nigga. Now it's oh, hey, let me come on here and talk this and do this, do this. You feel me? Munchie ain't cut not he ain't, you know what I'm saying? All right, come on. I'm just not getting my shit started. That that whole kid shit, it don't even be in the back of niggas' minds, bro. Like, it's still people that don't even know that's that that's that that's her daughter. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Cause a lot of niggas not out here going going to that little girl IG page, tagging her mama, tagging yeah. like niggas ain't doing that. He was he was trying to send me an IG page, but I'm not a pedophile, so I didn't I didn't accept it. Oh, uh, you don't want to see that page, bro. Hey, oh no, I'm cool. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I'm I'm mad. I I came across it, but mm -hmm. dead homie, you don't want to see that page, bro. And another re reason why I got 
you know what I'm saying, was compatible. Because I know we had this conversation about this same girl and these, this little girl before. Yeah, no. Nah, it's we, not our uh, first time talking about it, nigga. I'm way nah, from Chicago niggas, and know about this little girl. Nah, niggas didn't niggas didn't talk about that shit right here. Like, like niggas ain't feeling that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, but if if a homie, like, I don't know, like if a nigga like it's like if, if you knew that beforehand, oh crib, we on your ass. Like now you know the bitch ain't shit and you still yeah, you're wrong. Of, you know what I'm saying? But that ain't what the dribble was at first. Like, nigga, nigga, nigga maybe, to, maybe. Maybe if a nigga, if we were just talking like this and without the game trying to be tough and all that shit, because that's where it got lost in translation. You didn't know he was just talking to another tough gang, nigga. That shit don't mean nothing. We just talking about a kid. And that's he, what let, I'm saying, he, bro, let, he let the, he let that conversation get overwhelming to him to where he's like, everybody don't know how to have that. Yeah, everybody like, don't know how to have that conversation, bro. Like, I know how to turn that shit on and off. If you, like, if it, like I always say, if you want to have a conversation, I'm going to have one with you. But if you don't, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just be ignorant and be the dumb right, nigga you right. think I am. But right. if you really want to know some shit, I'm gonna show you how smart a nigga is. We just gonna have to sit down and talk, nigga. But if you don't want to do that and I see that that's, that ain't what you want, I'm gonna I'm gonna approach you with ignorance. How you doing? All right, you go. Yeah, meet aggression with you aggression. Saying, but I, like, yeah, that's all it be. Like a lot of niggas don't know how to have that conversation to where it don't even spill over into the. But even then, though, when you saying what you were saying, I I even when I heard you saying what you saying. I didn't even feel like you were serious. I didn't even take that shot. No, I'm, you, I'm trying to put myself you... in Munchie's shoes like, damn, hold on. Let me see how big folks coming. Nah, 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 nah. This ain't no real shit. This, this. You feel what I'm saying? But he don't know that. But he, he, don't, he don't know me. me. Yeah, he don't know me. That's what I'm saying. He don't, he don't say, what? Hold on, what? That's why when I heard him, like, nigga, do you even be out here? Do you be here? And I'm listening to the content. Like, damn, yeah, cuz do be out here. <laughs> yeah, nigga had pulled up on Cud and grabbed him. Yeah, then my other homie Cud, the other homie that's bullshit, another one of our goons, pull big folks let Cud pull up on Cud, Dolo. Oh, yeah, nah, big folks straight. That's my man. That's you Cud, let, man. Cud let one of the thirstiest homies I know, like. <laughs> oh, yeah, Cud pulled up on you, Dolo. It was good. Oh, yeah, all right, it's stay. <laughs> so when I'm hearing that shit, I'm like, oh, yeah, Cud, here it go. Because it's like, you know, Munchie Cud be defensive about shit, like. It's kind of yeah. easy to get that nigga off his off his pivot, like. Hey, hey, Flacco slid right up out of here, didn't he? You see him? Yeah, he been got up out of here. Boy, cold <laughs> nigga, boy, he been ducking and dodging. He know he has, cause he came in here on a good no, huh? Came through and I was. Up. 